Hello, Georgie B back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card is for my card pals, as the month of June is purple. And I made them this card. There's no stamping in this, apart from that sentiment, but that is from the many messages, which I'd already stamped out and kept a load of them. And that says, send in a smile your way. So, for this card I have got a card base of Highland Heather of 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 eighth, folded in half. I have a piece of white for the top and I should have a piece of basic white for the inside. That is 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. That's better. That's a little bit longer. So I shall keep that to the side. Trim it down later. Right, both of these are five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have got a Highland Heather oval from Stamping Up Ovals that are now retired. That's the largest oval. I have got the scalloped oval and that is the largest scalloped oval that will go on top like that and I also have the second largest oval to go on top there now there's no stamping like I said it's all masking and this is not a stamping up mask uh, that's because I couldn't find my stamping up mask when I made this card but then I was, oh I got my blends out and my Stampin' Up! masks were under my blends in the cupboard. So I'm going to find one to do, what's this, oh it's the piece of paper, don't know what masks are, and I am going to do, I think I'll do the one I've got out, yep. I'm going to use this mask. Right, first of all then, and the only ink I'm using is Highland Ever. I've also got a butterfly, and that is from an old butterfly bun uh, punch. Um, Papillon, some at Papillon, I can't remember. And it's one of their butterflies. So, get started we need this and we need this don't need the inside bit need a scrap of paper and we're going to use um, what are they called? sponge brayers I've got my purple one here Right, for the oval, what I did, I cut out of, uh, from masking paper, one of the Forever Fern dies. And this is from that. And I'm just going to place that on the oval. This masking paper is actually a Sizzix masking paper, which I've had for a while, never use. Well, very rarely use. And that's all I did with that, is just place that over there and that come out like that when we're finished. So with our put them to one side. With our Highland Heather and our brayer, pick it up, we are just going to run over it quite a few times. Turn it round. Just 
just make it as dark as we can. Ooh. Doesn't matter which way you put your ink on, as long as it's covered. Evenly, I think that will do it. And then we just peel off the mask and there we have our topper. It's quite, quite well that. Now this you can keep the masking paper I use as a backing which the dye doesn't cut through and I just place that back on there. Not that I don't think I'll use it again. Alright, now we need to do the background piece. So we need to place our stencil on where we want it. Now to keep that in place I am going to put some tape on it. don't want it moving and same again get your brayer and go over it you don't have to use a brayer you can use a dauber sponge anything you want Turn it a bit and go up this way. We don't really need to concentrate on the middle because that will be covered over but you do need to concentrate on the sides and the top and bottom There we are. That looks quite nice. That's us finished with that. Put that there, and then this will sit on there like that. And then we'll have the purple one underneath, and that will sit on there. Yeah, I do like that. Looks quite nice. So, let's get sticking. Hope my glue's not blocked. No. Stick 
flip that evenly around. And then glue this to stick that evenly on here. Now you only get a little bit of border, just enough to take the white from here. And that will go up on dimensionals. Oh yeah, I've got this new packet of dimensionals and I've actually cut through the bucking. So you have to be careful how you lift them up. That will go on there when we stick this one down. And place that evenly. On there. Might as well put the bit inside. I'm not putting anything inside. Right. And then this. just goes on top when we get all these backings off and we'll place that in the middle like that and our message sending smiles your way will sit on there but what we need is a mini dimensional Just on the end there. I know a spot of glue and place that there. Now with our butterfly, we put this and its wings up. Just at the top here. And that leaves us just to put some gems on. I found this strip of gems. I'm running out of this, the glass ones. And we put, how many did we put on? One, two, three, four. Four gems, so one, two, three, four. Obviously, we put some on the butterfly as well. on there there we are there's our Hard done for today.
hope you like it. I hope Sam and Moira like it, as it is for them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.